This was supposed to be Super Mario Brothers. Instead, I'm stuck staring at a blue screen. I'm using Google's brand new anti-gravity coding agent powered by the new Gemini 3 Pro model. I have pasted error logs 15 times. It's stuck in a death loop. But then, I took the exact same screenshot and the exact same prompt to Google AI Studio using the exact same model and did the same with Lovable. Who do you think did a better job? Today we are putting Gemini 3 Pro into a coding cage match. We have Google's new agent Anti-Gravity, my personal favorite IDE lovable.dev, and the raw power of Google AI Studio. The results were surprising. Let's break it down. First up, Google Anti-Gravity. This is their new VS Code integrated agent. The prompt was simple. Create a Mario Bros game using the same UI shown in the image. Make it look identical. It started strong. It analyzed the image, set up a project structure, and identified the assets, but then the wheels fell off. I counted. I had to prompt this agent 19 separate times just to try and get it to render. It struggled with file imports, it got confused by its own project structure, and then the blue screen of death. It kept throwing a specific error. Loop error. Keys is not defined. I would paste the log, it would say I fixed it, I would reload, and the error would persist. It was hallucinating a fix while actually breaking the sprite rendering. Instead of Mario, I got error logs. Instead of gameplay, I got a blank blue canvas. The takeaway here is that anti-gravity tried to be too smart. It over-engineered the file structure and the agent eventually got lost in its own complexity. Next, I tried lovable.dev. This is usually the gold standard for instant web apps. I gave it the same screenshot. It worked, technically. It didn't crash. It gave me a character and a platform, but look at the physics. It feels like a web toy. It succeeded where anti-gravity failed, but the quality was basic. It lacked soul and depth. Finally, I went to the source. Google AI Studio, no agent wrapper, just me and the raw Gemini 3 Pro model. Same prompt, same screenshot. Gemini 3 Pro didn't try to create a complex folder structure. It generated a single clean HTML file with the CSS and JavaScript embedded. And look at that. First try, the sprite sheet is cropped correctly. The physics have weight. The collision detection actually works. I still needed to prompt it again to get a double jump, but not bad. This proves that it is much more simple to get your original idea going directly on the web instead of trying to get an AI in your code editor to start working on an MVP locally. So, if you're coding with Gemini 3 Pro, my advice is to skip the fancy agent for now. Go to the AI studio, give it the raw context, and let it cook. What else would you like to see me test? Comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps a small channel like mine grow.